Hello and welcome to this week's Trade with Precision's free video newsletter. My name's Graham Kennelly and it's my pleasure to bring you this uh, market analysis. Here at Trade with Precision we are technical traders and we use technical analysis to look at the charts and give us clues as to what might be happening in the future. We can't make money off what has happened in the future, that's all hindsight trading, but we want to anticipate what might well happen next. And so what I have up here is a chart of the uh, foreign exchange on the Australian dollar versus the US. It's on the daily chart, and what you'll see here is the daily chart is in a downtrend. That's the first thing. So we're making lower highs with accompanying lower lows. We have the moving averages 10, 20, 15, 200 in the correct order open and fanning the MACD and the RSI on the indicators convergent to the short side. Now something that takes my eye about this is the candle that's just printing now. This is the daily candle, the session is about to come to an end and uh, what we're looking at is what happened in today's trading activity. And I can tell you there's something very exciting about this candle. It is a very bearish candle and it signals the possibility of a continuation to the short side. However, before I do that, I just want to point out a couple of other things about this chart. And I want to point out that there has been a flat level formed through here uh, around about say this uh, 7350 sort of level where the price action came down and found support, support, support and finally on yesterday's trading action the price action broke through and it broke through convincingly. That's the thing. It broke through convincingly and today's trading action has stayed in the trading range below that um, what was support level there. That support level likely to become resistance, resistance for the future, meaning the price action could well continue to the short side. Now in particular I want to talk about the candle just printing and why it is a very bearish candle. Well you notice that the body is very small, the open and close is very close, and although there's been a, sh a little excursion to the short side, meaning um, there was an attempt to drive the price down a little bit, the big thing about the candle is the long wick to the top side. What does that long wick tell me? It tells me that the buyers tried to come into the market and drive the price back up. There was an attempt to drive that price up, but it was overwhelmed by sellers. The sellers stepped in and said, no, we're having none of this. We are driving this price down. What does that mean for the opening of the session tomorrow and for the future and for the trading later this week? Is every chance that this uh, pair will go to the short side even more so. So that's a matter of reading the charts, reading the um, information that the candlesticks are telling us and building a trading decision. It's in this building trading decision that we arrive at our trading um, strategies and find opportunities to take trades. I'll just give you a little um, comparison to this as well. The Aussie is showing weakness across all of its trading partners and I'll just now go to the next pair, which is the pound versus the Aussie. We now have the pound versus the Australian dollar on the daily, similar sort of thing. And you can see in a reverse way, that is um, because the pound is quoted first and the Aussie as the quote currency, we've now got an uptrend, meaning that the pound is strong and conversely, the Australian dollar is still weak. So what have we got setting up here? Something very similar as on the US. Notice, first of all, we've got this flat level, this um, what was resistance, resistance, resistance in an uptrend. So we notice that the price has been driving up, making um, higher highs with accompanying higher lows. Very nice uptrend. Look at the moving averages, 10, 20, 50 in the correct order, open and fanning, MACD and the RSI, also convergent or in agreement to the long side. Now here we have a very bullish candle extremely bullish candle and for the same reasons that I just gave on the Aussie versus the US we've got a, a body that's relatively small the close looking like it's going to close a little above the open so small body and once again an attempt to drive the price down with this long tail to the underside but that was rejected and we now have uh, buyer sentiment to the long side quite an exciting looking bullish candle with regard to the pound as quoted against the Australian dollars. Now one last pair I want to show you uh, just to make a wrap on this. Here on the Euro versus the Aussie we've got a situation where the price action has actually already gone to the long side. Australian dollar showing weakness against its trading partner the, the Euro and what we have here is the daily also in an uptrend with higher highs accompanying higher lows, moving averages, correct order open fanning, MACD and RSI kicking up in agreement, convergent to the long side but today's trading action 
on the euro showing very much a bullish um, outcome, meaning the Australian dollar weak and has been confirmed by today's trading action. In other words, this pair possibly showing a leading or um, showing, showing the way as to what m might well happen on the Australian dollar versus the US and the pound versus the US. So if you'd like to take matters further, if you'd like to further understand the way here we um, here at Trade with Precision, we analyse the charts, the way we apply our technical analysis and how we come up with our trading strategies, feel free to enrol for any of the free webinars that we are showing. I hope you've enjoyed this market and commentary and thank you so much for taking the time to look at this video. My name's Graham Kennelly, I'm from Trade with Precision.